With just six days until the election, both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are staying busy rallying supporters. And a new poll tonight shows that two key battleground states, Florida and North Carolina, are too close to call. Craig Boswell has the latest from the campaign trail. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton are painting dire pictures of what it would be like if the other won the election. Imagine with me what it would be like to have Donald Trump sitting in the Oval Office come next January. If Hillary Clinton were to be elected, it would create an unprecedented and protracted constitutional crisis. Trump was back in must-win Florida on Wednesday, pitching himself to minority voters. The African American community and the Hispanic community are really understanding what's going on, and you see that right now. Trump has suggested that early voters who have buyer's remorse should switch their vote to him. At least four states allow voters to withdraw their early ballot and re-vote. President Obama campaigned on Clinton's behalf in North Carolina, where early voting rates among African American voters got off to a slow start. I hate to put a little pressure on you, but the fate of the republic rests on your shoulders. Hillary Clinton was out west in Arizona and Nevada. You have six days to convince everybody you can talk to to get out and vote. Both campaigns aired three national ads during Game 7 of the World Series. Clinton's depicts Trump as unfit for the presidency, but Trump's says he's the outsider that can bring change. Craig Boswell, CBS News, the White House. President Obama will campaign for Clinton tomorrow in Florida, and Melania Trump will make her first solo appearance campaigning for her husband at an event near Philadelphia.